night, one year ago today, the House of Representatives passed a piece of legislation designed to get back the taxpayer bailout money that was used to pay massive bonuses to AIG executives. But at this hour, this bill is not law because it's one of the 290 bills that were passed in the House that the Senate has ignored. If taxpayers are going to get their money back, the Senate is going to have to... I guess you could say, get with the program. And it's not even a partisan bill. This is what's so amazing. It passed the House by a vote of 328 to 93. One of the sponsors of the bill, Congressman Gary Peters of Michigan, with us tonight. Congressman, good to have you with us. Why, why isn't the Senate moving on this? When you ask questions about this, why aren't they moving on it? Uh, it's, uh, it's outrageous, Ed, uh, why they're not moving at it. As you, as you mentioned, a year ago we passed this bill. We had this outrageous situation where AIG was paying millions of dollars of bonuses to the very individuals that brought that company down and in the process uh, contributed to the whole economy coming down. It's now gone over to the Senate. Uh, nothing is being done. And now we have AIG issuing even more bonuses to these same individuals, $100 million What answer do you month. get? What answer do you get when you ask, why can't you guys move on this? I, I don't get a good answer, and it's just part of the, what is uh, right now a dysfunctional Senate where things uh, do not get done. I was on your program, as you recall, yeah. about the unemployment where we have just one senator standing in the way of unemployment checks to hundreds of thousands of people. There is no good answer. We need to see action out of the Senate. That's what the American people want. They want to see action, particularly on this Wall Street greed uh, where you've got people who have abused the system and are making millions of dollars. It's got to stop, and the Senate needs to step up up to the plate and they need to do it now. So what does the bill actually do besides get money back? Does it regulate bonuses? Does it uh, really get into their business? What does it do? Well, this bill brings back that money. It says those companies uh, uh, that have substantial taxpayer investments, $5 billion or more, cannot pay out any bonuses. If they do, it'll it's be It's a guaranteed payback then. That's right. It'll be paid back, and, and uh, bonuses can be paid to employees only after the taxpayers have been paid back first. Yeah. Certainly, that's what I hear all the time. Taxpayers are saying, wait a minute, uh, we floated money to keep these companies alive. We need to be paid back first sure. before these executives, and the very that actually cause the problem get huge bonuses. It's absolutely uh, unacceptable. Congressman, appreciate you coming on, but I can't let you go without asking you, about the issue of the hour, which is health care. We're so close to a vote. Have you decided what you're going to do? And since we're friends, I could just say you're not leaving the camera until you give me an answer. <laughs> what are you, Gary, what, what are you going to do on this? Uh, I'm going to be voting yes. Uh, to me, uh, this is uh, an important bill, particularly dealing with small businesses. I've been hearing from small business owners uh, in my state of Michigan that are finding it increasingly difficult to provide health insurance for themselves, for their families. This bill gives immediate tax cut to those small businesses and allows them to have affordable health care where right now they can't provide it for their families and for their employees. To me, this is a competitiveness issue, particularly for small businesses, which are the engine of growth. That's where the economy is going to grow. That's where most the jobs are created, and they now face a significant disadvantage when it comes to providing a critical benefit to their employees. Congressman, great move. Appreciate you telling us straight up tonight you're going to vote yes on the health care bill on Sunday. Great to be with you, Ed. You bet. Congressman Gary Peters from Michigan telling us tonight, yes, there's another vote. I think that's eight now. Good day for the Democrats. Another page in a playbook.